Hi everyone, in this video we will take a look at how you can use R and do data visualization using the Google Charting library. Specifically we will take a look at how we can use the Google Viz uh, library from within R uh, to do the visualization. So that basically is uh, the R library providing a, uh, a wrapper if you will on top of uh, the Google Charting API. Now, uh, in, in today's video, we'll also take a look at a couple of uh, examples and demos. But uh, one of the first questions you might have is, uh, why use Google Charts? Uh, so Google Charts has been around for a while now. It's, uh, it's actually one of the earliest um, implementations, if you will, or successful implementations of a good um, JavaScript-based uh, charting packages. Uh, however, these days, there's quite many of them around. Uh, which also implies that um, Google Charts uh, isn't necessarily the most exciting. I, I would say it does require a facelift. Uh, it's not the prettiest or the most exciting looking charts. But um, there are good reasons why you might want to consider using these as opposed to some of the other charting libraries like say Plotly or HighCharter or various other packages like RCharts or uh, your preferred uh, visualization library. And that's specifically what we'll uh, take a look at uh, today. Uh, so um, let's uh, dive into R. Uh, so I've got a few examples lined up, uh, but perhaps maybe even before we jump into the examples itself, if you want to uh, follow along, just do a quick Google search for Google Wis and R or Cran R, and uh, you should find this page. So it it basically does uh, outline the demos that I'm going to show you. But instead of going through all of this, uh, I thought I'd save you folks some time and quickly highlight why you will want to consider using uh, Google Viz. So first off, um, Google Viz is really simple uh, and it's really easy to install. So uh, um, as compared to some of the other libraries, I found that it works in R on Windows but may not work on R on say Mac or may not work on your variation of uh, Linux for example. Uh, whereas uh, Google Viz uh, is really easy to install pretty much on uh, any platform, so just do a quick uh, install that package in Google Viz and you should be good to go. Uh, on the flip side, uh, as I mentioned, Google uh, Charts isn't particularly attractive, right? it's uh, aging. I mean, since they were one of the earliest implementations, it's also one of its uh, weakness in the sense it's not had a facelift for a while. So. Uh, you'll find that most of the charts are not that great as compared to some of the other JavaScript based uh, visualization and integration you now see in R. Uh, but uh, that's as far as weakness goes. Uh, the other thing you will want to keep in mind is, um, uh, and I'm not sure if the API has changed any, but uh, since uh, the time it was uh, implemented, uh, Google API does require that your data actually be sent to. Uh, Google's um, JavaScript uh, libraries in their data center so it basically means your data is leaving your machine and uh, into Google's uh, data center so again it's uh, something if uh, you're worried about compliance that's uh, definitely something worth uh, keeping in mind. Uh, Alright so uh, moving on to the actual demos itself so instead of uh, going through this uh, page I'm quickly going to show you three to four quick examples so if, uh, if if you've never seen how uh, Google um, charts works, basically uh, if uh, anything's in a data frame, you can easily um, chart that uh, using Google Charts. So let's start off with a quick example here. Um, so here we've got a simple bar chart. So you know nothing terribly exciting, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's quite interactive and really simple as a bar chart. But um, the intent of this video wasn't to show you a bar chart. Uh, moving on to uh, why I would maybe use um, Google Charts library. Uh, so one of my favorite charts is uh, the motion chart, uh, scatter plot, but with uh, animation. Uh, so not uh, chances are you've uh, already seen this or have come across this. Uh, but if you haven't, highly recommend that you see this video. It's uh, one of the best uh, TED videos of all time around data visualization. Um, Hans Rosling um, you know, yeah, immerses us in uh, this video around uh, doing some great uh, visualization using uh, motion charts, uh, which was the inspiration for a lot many other vendors to provide something very similar. Uh, there are implementations in D3 uh, which you can find, but um, uh, so far I've not come across something that 
easily works with an R. So that's uh, one of my number one reasons to actually consider uh, using uh, Google Charts. So here's a quick example. So if, uh, uh, again, keep in mind, this is one of the uh, implementations of uh, Google Charts, which is based in Flash. Uh, almost all the others are based on uh, HTML5 and JavaScript, uh, but it does give you uh, a very nice visualization. So particularly if you're doing some time series analysis and want to um, do some visualization across uh, different attributes, uh, uh, it's, um, it's um, one of the best uh, visualizations. I've seen some something similar in PowerView, but then uh, PowerView in Excel and Power BI, but um, uh, that does not integrate well with um, the context of analysis within R. And again, uh, there are, uh, you could build your own implementation using D3. I've seen few variations, but uh, nothing as uh, simple as uh, using uh, Google Charts uh, specifically for this motion charts. Uh, the other two um, key considerations around using Google Charts would be around maps. So here's a simple example. Uh, again, all of these are examples from uh, this website, but um, since uh, Google Maps works so well, uh, doing analysis and overlays um, using Google Maps is uh, uh, quite uh, useful and inviting. So it allows us to use Google Maps for what we really know and use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, do some uh, overlays and uh, charting uh, just based on uh, the mapping itself, which I think is quite attractive. Um, and then finally, uh, the other interesting bit I found Google Maps, uh, I'm sorry, Google Charts to be really interesting and powerful is um, the ability to merge charts and uh, maybe a quick uh, uh, demo will highlight points. So here's an example of a single plot. So here, all we've done is uh, done a quick uh, uh, geo chart. But one of the things we can do is um, we can merge multiple uh, charts into one single chart. So here we have a um, geo chart and a table chart and we are merging it into one single chart and uh, we can visualize both together. So again, these are two separate charts, but we can merge it and view it in one single chart saves us from having to uh, embed it into something like an iframe and build some custom dashboards. Uh, so all in all, uh, that's a quick wrap around uh, using uh, Google uh, Wiz library, which uh, basically packages the Google charting uh, API. So on the website, you can see some other examples again. Um, as I pointed out, um, there are possibly reasons why you may want to consider other libraries, but uh, then I've highlighted some of the key strengths around why you can look at using uh, Google this library for your data visualization. Hope the video has been helpful. Uh, do like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks everyone.